All right, so I thought I'd do this uh, quick video to show you um, how this um, prop was replaced on this Americraft B24 BCS two axle fan. I went from the steel fan blade that this was shipped with to a new aluminum, which is actually a multi-piece, and it's actually not made by Americraft, it's actually made by Continental Fan. But after working with the sales and engineering team over at Americraft and telling them what I wanted to do, they actually came up with this resolution here, which was actually to use the um, Continental Fan um, Elta airfoil impeller. So um, I'm going to show you as far as not only the removal of the old one, the old one's really simple. Uh, it's just more so kind of a little bit of the frustrating part of removing the old one, but actually installing the new one, which actually was really simple. Um, that's kind of what I'm going through here. So I'm going to show you that in this part of the video. So both of these fan blades are held in place just like a traditional industrial pulley with a split taper or a taper bushing, also known as a QD bushing. The problem I had here was is that this was such a tight fit for the factory, I'm almost willing to bet that they used an impact wrench and the process, I actually ended up not twisting one, but both of the bolt heads off. Uh, luckily I got to the point where I got it budged, I could take just a light pry bar and actually just pry it loose off of the QD bushing and then take a pulley puller and actually just pull the bushing itself off. So it was, worked out really well, but it was a little bit frustrating because it should have been a simple uh, push and pull, but not quite exactly. But I got it off and as you'll see here, the new one went on quite well. So installing a new fan blade is just as easy. What I did here was thread the quarter inch bolts in as far as I could by hand. And I'm just using a 7 16 socket on a 3 8 ratchet. And then basically what I'm doing is I'm drawing one in about a quarter turn and I'm alternating between both of them. You don't want to draw one in tight and then tighten up one after. You want to make sure that you draw them in evenly so that way the taper bushing actually goes in evenly.